Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. Honesty, just saying the word probably makes you get all, Ugh, because that's one of the things in relationships that we all have to work on is our level of honesty. And of course, that means lying. And lying is a huge, huge factor. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about why men lie. I'm gonna tell you 10 lies and 10 reasons for them. And before we get rolling with this, make sure you do the big three. Number one, like and subscribe because, well, this is good stuff. And number two, make sure you turn on the notifications so you know when the next video comes out. And number three, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, leave them in the comment section below. Now, I talk about how you know if a man's lying in another video, and I'm gonna give you a link to that if you wanna go watch that. But of course, you can read a guy's body language all day long, right? Hey, is he holding his arm like this? Is he got like this? Is he doing this? Is he nervous? Eye contact, all that stuff. You can hook him up to a lie detector, right? But far easier is simply knowing the things that will make a guy lie, right? And knowing why a man will lie, why he does. And also trusting your own intuition. Trust your gut. Yeah, that almost unbreakable, infallible social radar that you use with your female friends all the time, don't you? Yes, you do. Ask him a bunch of questions First of all, this is a great strategy. Just ask him a bunch of questions that you know he's going to be truthful about early on. I mean, right off the bat, if you're suspecting that he's lying to you about something, ask him a question about something you know he's gonna tell the truth about. That's what we call a baseline. And then you watch when you ask him a more charged question later on about something that he might lie about. Is it different? Did it seem like he was lying about the small stuff? Did you pick anything up there? Did you sense anything or notice anything? That's your best indicator right there. And even ask yourself this, does he lie already? Does he lie about the small stuff? Well, get ready because it ain't gonna be good if that's how you're starting off in your relationship. Guys don't just lie because they think they can get away with it. But honestly, if you've shown him that you're gonna let him get away with it, yeah, he just might do that too. And this will definitely put an end to your relationship, right? If it doesn't end it now, it's gonna end it in the near future. Now, the good news is if he lies to you, that doesn't mean he doesn't love you, okay? We all lie at some point or another, yes, even you. In fact, if a man, if a man does lie to you, it might mean he loves you more than you know. And I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Here, for a little bit of humor, let's just talk about the top 10 lies that men do tell. Let's have a little fun with this sensitive topic, shall we? Number one lie, I didn't have that much to drink. Number two, nothing's wrong, I'm fine. Number three, there was no signal where I was. Number four, it wasn't that expensive. Number five, I'm on my way. Mm-hmm. Number six, I'm stuck in traffic. Number seven, no, your butt does not look fat in that. Number eight, sorry, missed your call. Sure. <laughs> Number nine, you've lost weight. Number 10, wow, it's what I've always wanted. Now we know about those fun little lies, right? But let's get the big question out of the way first. Why does a man lie? He lies to protect you from emotions he doesn't want you to have, like anger, hurt, all that stuff. And the number one reason why he lies is also to help maintain your idealized version of him, right? He knows you look at him a certain way and he wants to keep you seeing him that way, in the good way. And as strange as it sounds, he lies to you because he actually does love you and he's trying to avoid causing you feelings of hurt and pain. And of course, to protect him from being the target of your anger. Now, if you're the kind of woman who is very emotionally upset by the slightest things, a man is going to want to avoid that by simply lying to you. Problem is solved. So think about that the next time you want to give him grief about something. Is it possible that you're making him want to lie to you in the future to avoid a response that might be out of proportion or maybe not necessary? If he sees nothing positive or beneficial to telling the truth, if all he sees is a penalty for telling you the truth, and if there is no penalty for lying, what do you think he's going to do? Of course he's going to lie. Why not? Can you really blame him? Now, I'm not saying you're to blame. That's not what I'm saying at all. But in a long-term relationship, you are a part of the process. And ask yourself, why would you lie to a man? Well, let's get into the real lies here. The lie number one is, a man will lie about his age and a ton of other stuff online. See, online, if you're online dating, he's gonna lie about his height or his age. In fact, women lie online more about their weight. Guys lie about their age and their height. And it's because we don't see any harm in that if we fudge the numbers a little bit. And we don't want you to overlook a good man. 
just because we're a few years over your limit or a few inches under what you might want. It sucks to have to check a box to describe yourself. Let's just get that out of the way right now and admit it. We all want to be thought of as much more than a set of measures and numbers. Lie number two, they lie about female friendships or interest. He's not going to tell you if he's attracted to his friend. First of all, he might not have any intentions of cheating on you. Most men actually don't. But if you and him don't work out for whatever reason, he's going to want to have some options. Oh, and I know you've done this one before. We all have, right? Kind of keeping our options open. Lie number three is he lies about his motivations. What is it he really wants? What's motivating him? Well, of course, getting sex, along with your company, of course. Number four lie is his intentions. What is it, again, what is it he's really aiming for here? Guys are starting off with the intention of wanting to get sex. Yes, they do also want the relationship with that, don't get me wrong, but men just have a different order. They want the sex first, then the relationship. Women want the relationship, then the sex. Now hearing that, you might immediately become disgusted or offended. This is an old dynamic. It's as old as time. And I'm just shocked that more women don't know more about this dance, this ritual, that men want the sex first and that's what you hold them off on. Let's put it this way. He wants the sex and you hold it back from him for a while. That's the dance of, of relationships at the start anyways. This time at the start where you're holding him off and he's trying to get it, this time gives him time to get a little bit addicted to you. But he won't see you as unique or special if you give it up in the first two hours, honey. Mm -mm, okay, that part of the equation has never changed. Lie number five is, he will lie about his availability and what he's actually doing, even if it's not bad. So if he's available in terms of a uh, relationship or even if he's available just to come over and hang out with you or whatever he happens to be doing at the moment, he does to do that because he might be out with his friends and having fun and he just doesn't want to be accountable to a relationship at that moment. It's just one of those things guys do. Line number six is he will lie about making a commitment. Now you know this one, right? He might lie to you to get you into bed. Yes, this is kind of the universal reason for guys, but don't make a trade or bargain for sex. Don't tell him things like, do you love me? Which implies that if you say yes, you're gonna let, give in and let him, or just know in advance on every single date if you're intending to give it up, right? Look, look at his life and just see if it's really likely that he's going to give you a commitment. Again, you never have to coerce or force a man into commitment if you know what it is you're doing. You got to look at all the high value women out there. You ever known a woman that just never seemed to have a problem with guys just throwing themselves at her feet? Now, you might think it was her beauty, but it's not actually that. The beauty was just a circumstance. The actual development of this attitude that she's carrying, that's something else. That's something I teach women. Line number seven is showing their vulnerable true self. Look, guys are not going to show you his soft white underbelly. In other words, he's not going to show you his vulnerable parts right off the bat. He's going to have to really get to know you and he's going to have to feel like he's safe with you. That's one of the most important things you've got to do in a relationship with a man. You've got to get him to feel safe. And if you're not doing that, you're missing out on what will eventually create that commitment. Line number eight is how many partners he's had. Of course he's going to lie about this. He wants to seem virile, like a stud. See, most men don't have very much in the sexual experience department as you've probably already experienced, right? He lies about this to what? pump up his ego in some ways. And he also wants to impress you. He wants you to think that he's a capable, virile man for the opposite reasons that you probably lie about your number. Yes, I know you do this. We all know that. Lie number nine, if he thinks she's pretty. Look, he does. If you're asking him, do you think she's pretty? You know it. He knows it. Don't put him in that position because of your insecurities. It's just not fair. If you want appreciation, that's really what you're looking for, right? If you want that appreciation, there are other ways to get it. I'll tell you in a minute how to do that without making him feel bad about his natural needs. Line number 10, finally, is being insecure or afraid that you would leave him. Look, guys are not going to admit that they are actually very vulnerable to breakups. Men take breakups harder. You might not know this, but it's true. They take it harder. They don't show on the outside, but they really do. Men uh, can't handle divorce that well. They go into depression. If you may not know about this, but suicide. Divorced men are twice as likely as unmarried men to take their own life.
Now, I know it's kind of a downer, but it's a very real emotional pressure for a guy to stay in a long-term relationship and not have that end and hurt him in some way. Now, if you can understand how men think, you're never going to need to worry about him leaving, okay? I'm going to give you a little bonus lie here. I know that doesn't sound like a good thing, but I'm going to give you a bonus lie that men lie about. He will lie about his feelings for you, mostly because he simply doesn't know what his feelings are. He only knows when it's a no or it's a yes. One of those two situations when he knows is definitely not an, it's a definite no or a definite yes. He knows those, but anything in between, he just doesn't know yet. He will lie about being in love with you just to get in bed with you for the time being. But if he keeps going to bed with you, yeah, eventually he's probably going to fall for you. There are a million and one lies out there and there's a million and one reasons for each one of them, but you only want one thing, don't you? You want the lies to stop. Here's a painful question. Have you already known that your man is lying, but you chose to ignore it? Or even better question for you, why have you chosen to stay with a guy who's lying or cheating on you? Was it because you couldn't let go? Was it because you chose poorly? Was it because you couldn't maybe handle your own emotions or any of the emotions? What if he's not a liar, but he's just trying to cover up something just to protect you both? What if? you could finally break these patterns. You know what I mean? The same patterns you've been getting into with men for years and years. It's time you stopped making the same mistakes with guys. Why not set up the kind of relationship where he doesn't feel like it's necessary to lie to get what he wants and to give you what you want? Again, guys don't really understand their subconscious choices. They can't understand their emotions that well, so they basically just jump into some automatic programs and you can hack those programs. Yeah, just like again, those hackers and movies do. But again, we're doing this for the right reasons to make him both love you and want you and give you what you deserve. Now, if you want to get that, I encourage you to go to this link you see below me right here. It's datingfire.com forward slash obsession. datingfire.com forward slash obsession. Watch that video. It talks about why men lie in certain situations and it also gives you a very, very big solution. The solution is simple. You got to get him wanting you, desiring you, obsessed with you. Trust me, this is the best thing you can do for yourself, for your relationship, and for your future with men. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. Go on over to datingfire.com forward slash obsession. Go watch the video right now and do the big three. What are they? Number one, like and subscribe because this is awesome stuff. Number two, make sure you turn on notifications so you know when the next one comes out. And of course, number three, if you have a question or comment or you want to suggest a video, do that in that section below. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. As always, live and love with passion.